Hi and welcome to this new tutorial and boy have I got one in store for you. In this tutorial we will be creating a custom component for our enemies to give them health so that when we kill them we earn experience for our player. So stick around if you'd like to see how to do that. Okay so like I said we're going to do something completely new and it's something we've never done before. It's, we're going to be adding our own component. So a component is really like a character movement component, it's just a script, it's a class, except in Unreal's blueprints they're called components. So to do it we do the same way we add a new blueprint, we right click and we go blueprint class and then we want an actor component. And when we have that we're going to name this enemy health because this only applies to our enemies. And the great thing about enemy health is it means we can apply it to every single enemy in our game. As long as we're going to use generalized variables that we need from it, such as health, damage, and level. So let's double click this to open it up. So in here, we want two variables. Uh, not variables, sorry. We want two functions. We want take damage and death. Very morbid one, that one. And take damage will be taking damage from the player. So it's something we're going to call from our enemy class. So take damage is rather simple. We just have a few inputs. Like I said, we have damage. And that's an integer. Health. That's also an integer. And level, which is also an integer. Actually, sorry, we don't have level. We have our enemy. And that we have to find the class we make them from, which will in this case be our character object type. And now first things first, we need to take away our health. So we'll get an integer minus integer. And what we want to do is take damage away from our health. So they're going to cross over like this, unless you want to do them the other way round. Then we want a branch. And we want to say, is this less than or equal to zero because we want to know if that character has died and if they have we will call death and then we want a return node named health and the output for this return node we'll call new health and that's an integer again and the new health will be the value of this, what has been minused. So either way, we want to return whether they've got no health or some health. But if they have no health, we also want to kill that character. So in death, before we can do anything, we need to actually add some inputs. And what we need is our enemy. And we want our character type. And the reason we want this is because we're going to be using the level to generate some experience points. Which is why we have enemy here. So we'll just plug that into enemy there. So now we're passing on our enemy class, we're able to access its levels. So again, all this has done is taken away some damage, and if they've died, we're going to call death. We're going to cast to our first person character because it's going to be our first person character who's killed us. And in Fallout, even if their companion kills them, they still give the player experience points. So we're still going to cast the experience to the player, as long as it was from the player who we died. So we want to get player character. And from the player character, we want to get level. And from our enemy, we want to get our level. Now at the moment we can't because we don't actually have an enemy type. What we're going to do is we're just going to finish this off. We're going to do earn experience. And then after this we will destroy actor. And we'll destroy our enemy. Because we no longer need them in the world. So now we need to create our enemy. And we're going to create a new blueprint, a new character, and we're going to call this 
enemy. Now for my enemy, instead of having a mesh which I can't actually use because I don't have a skeletal mesh, I'm just going to use a sphere for now and I'm basically just going to scale it inside the capsule, scale it up. And that is our very, you know, scary looking enemy right there. Very scary. And we're going to add our component, enemy health. And there it is. We have our own component right there. Brilliant. Now, we need to add a variable. We need to add enemy level. And add that as an integer. We need to add another one called enemy health. I'm just going to put e health because we have a component named enemy health. And I believe that's all we really need here. So on our capsule component, because this is just an enemy, all I'm going to say is block all. Just block all anything that interacts with it. So we've set that to block all, and what I'm going to say is capsule component on component hit. I want to cast to first person projectile. With this as our other actor. And from there, all I'm going to do is say, take damage, enemy health. And as you can see, we've cast to our custom class. And our enemy is going to be our self, so we'll get a reference to self. Our damage will be something we can say, so I'm just going to say 100. Otherwise, you could use a variable from projectile damage, which I'll tell you what, we'll do for name's sake. So variable, I'm going to give it damage, integer and we'll give it a value of 100. And as first person checked out, get, get damage. Place that in our damage, our health. We want our enemy health. And we need to set this as a default value of 100. And there we go, now we're going to take damage. So, now we go back to our enemy health component, and as our enemy, we can get our level. Okay, so, instead of getting our character reference here, what we're going to do is just get the level of the character as an integer, and then we'll do the same on death. So change that to integer, enemy level. And go back to take damage and hook them back up again. And this time in enemy, instead of getting a reference to self, we want to get a reference to our level and place that in there. Now on death, we have our level here. And I'm just going to move up my cast because we're going to do some maths. Good old fashioned fun maths, right? It's going to be easy. It's a float divided by a float because we want to divide the enemy level by our level because we want to see how overpowered or underpowered we are compared to the enemy. Which is why we need a float because it's going to be a decimal. For example, if we're level 2 and the enemy is level 1, then the answer is going to be 0 0.5 or if the Whilst if the enemy's level 2 and we're level 1, then it's going to be 2. So this way we get to scale our experience points. And in this death function, we want a local variable, exp constant. Well, actually, good name in practice would be like this. That tells you it's a constant because of the caps lock. So then we're going to get our experience constant, give it a default value of about 100. And using this float, we're going to multiply by, well, we might as well do integer by float. And we now have our float. And from our character, we earn our experience using this as our experience earned. And what we're going to do is we're going to truncate we could try and round, yep, we're going to round it actually because that will give us a more 
accurate experience point. We need to use our experience and target as the character. And this is where we needed our enemy reference actually. So we'll get our input. I'm telling you to re-add this again. It worked last time. It worked in my trials. I don't know why it didn't this time. So just, you know, bear with me. So now we'll get a reference to ourself. And then in our enemy health, we'll just connect that up into the death. And then in death, all we say is, hey, destroy this actor. And we're done. Now let's press play. Let's not. We actually need to add our enemy to the scene. We'll add one there. We'll add one there. We'll add one here. There we go. As you can see, my ball bounced around and destroyed our enemies. Now, unfortunately, we didn't earn any experience points. And the reason we didn't is because our enemy level is actually at zero. So obviously, that's going to mess with our multiplications. However, now, as you see, I earned 100. I've leveled up. I've now earned 200. And then I earned 50 because we were overpowered from that enemy. So there you have it. That is how we create not only an enemy class, but how to give that enemy class the way to earn our player experience points. And I'm just going to take this quick moment to throw a plug to saying I've, for some reason, decided to try and do a gaming channel and there'll be a link down below in the description or just click here in the screen and it'll take you to that. And right now you can watch me kind of fail at playing Resident Evil Revelations. Quick note is we forgot to do this actually. After the take damage, we want to set our enemy health equal to our output. Because if they've not died, or if they have died even still, we need to set that new health. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Give a like if you did, a dislike if you didn't. If you have opinions or otherwise, or any comments, questions, suggestions, or advice, just leave it in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And as always, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks guys. Bye.